In this video, we're looking at finding the area of a circle. The formula for calculating the area of a circle looks like this. If that seems a little bit puzzling, don't worry, because I'm going to explain it. Pi is a Greek symbol. It's quite a long number. There's quite a few digits after the decimal point. And when you're doing this on a calculator, you don't really have to worry about that. But when you're working this out without a calculator, we just round pi usually to two decimal places. So we're going to use 3.14 to represent pi. The next bit of that formula, if you remember from algebra, when you just put numbers and letters together, that just means we're multiplying them. So pi r means pi times by r. And r is the radius of the circle. So if we have a circle and the radius is three, and we've been asked to find the area of that circle, we're going to be using the radius of 3. But looking back at that formula, you'll notice that the radius has a little squared, a power of 2. And if you remember bid mass from the calculation section, we have to do the square first before we multiply the radius by pi. So we have to square the radius. 3 squared is 9. So the calculation we're working with is pi 3.14 times by 9, which is the radius squared. And when we calculate that, we get 28.26 centimetres. And because it's area, it's squared. So you need that little 2, that little power of 2. Notice this symbol here. Remember, this means approximately, because pi is actually a longer number than 3.14. And if you were to do this on a scientific calculator where pi is already set in there, you'll get a slightly different answer to the one we have here, which is why we put that it's approximate. Using the formula pi r squared, find the area of this circle. Pause the video, have a go. pi, remember, is 3.14, and the radius is 4 centimetres. But before we multiply those together, remember that radius has to be squared first. The radius squared, that's 4 squared, which is 16. Now we have pi times by 16, which is 50.24. The area of this circle is approximately 50.24 centimetres squared. Remember, if you did this on a scientific calculator, you would get a slightly different answer. This time it's a bit different. We have to add in one extra step because you'll notice that we have the diameter of the circle and not the radius. As long as you remember that the radius is half the diameter, this won't cause a problem. Half of 22 is 11. So the radius we're working with here is 11 centimetres. And we carry on as before. Pi, which is 3.14. Remembering bid mass and squaring the radius first. 11 squared is 121. So it's 3.14 times by 121 to give us the area of the circle. And that's 379.94 centimetres square. And remember, if you did this on a scientific calculator, it would be different. And the bigger the area we're working with, the bigger the difference you'll see between 3.14 and the value of pi on a calculator. Here's one for you to have a go at. This circle has a diameter of 10 centimetres. Calculate the area. Pause the video. Have a go. Remember, you have to work with the radius, and that's half the diameter. Half of 10 is 5, so the r we're working with is 5 centimetres. Pi, which is 3.14, and we're going to square the radius, and the radius is 5. 5 squared is 25. 3.14 times by 25, the area of this circle is approximately 78.5 centimetres squared. 
And remember, if you were doing this on a scientific calculator, the answer will be slightly different.